First Corinthians chapter 4. The Ministry of Apostles This is how one should regard us, as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required of the stewards that they be found faithful. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself, for I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not therapy acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time. Before the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness, and will dis disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive his condom commendation from God. I will provide all these things to myself and Apollos for your benefit, brothers, that you may learn by us not to go beyond what is written, that none of you may be puffed up in favor of one against another. For one who sees anything different in you, what do you have that you did not receive? Then you received it. Why do you boast, boast if you do not receive it? Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. Without us, you have become kings. And with that you did re reign, so that we might share the rule with you. For I think that God has accepted us apostles as best of all, like men sentenced to death, because we have become a spec spectacle to the world, to a angels, and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we are disrepute. To the present hour, we hunger and thirst. We are poorly dressed and buffeted and homeless, and we labor working with our own hands. When we are reviled, we bless. When we persecuted, we endure. Once laundered, we entreat. We have become and are still like the scum of the world, the refuse of all things. I do not write these things to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers, for I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I urge you, then be imitators of me. That is why I sent you, Timothy, my beloved and faithful child of the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ, as I teach them everywhere in every church. Some are arrogant, as though I were not coming to you, but I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not to talk of, of these arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God does not consist in, t in talk, but in power. What do you wish? Shall I come to you with a rod or with love and a spirit of gentleness? 1 Corinthians chapter 5 Sexual immorality defiles the church. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you and of a kind that is not tolerated even among pagans. For a man has his father's wife, and you are arrogant. Uh, ought you not rather to mourn? Let him who has done this be removed from among you. For though absent in body, I am present in spirit. And if, as if present, I have already pronounced judgment on the one who did such a thing. When you are assembled in the name of the Lord Jesus, and my spirit is present, with my power of our Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, so that our spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Cleans, cleanse out the old leaven, that you may be a new lump, as you really are unleavened. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate this festival, not with the old leaven, the leaven was no malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread for sincerity and truth. I wrote to you in my letter not to associate with sexual immoral people, not at all meaning the sexual immoral of this world or the greedy and sw swindlers, the ad idolaters, since then you would need to go out of the world. But now I am writing to you not to, not to associate an with anyone who bears the name of brother if he is guilty of sexual immorality or greed or is an idolater, reviler, drunkard, or swindler. Not even to eat with such such a one. For what have I to do with judging outsiders? It is not those inside the church whom you are to judge. 
God judges those who outside. Purge the evil person from among you.